Subscribe our YouTube channel, follow our Facebook, visit our website. Hi, good day. In this video, I will talk about what's so special about SQL Payroll. Here are a few useful features of the SQL Payroll. Now, I will talk about maximum employee allowed in SQL Payroll system. How does it work? If you purchase our 20 employee package, as you can see in the list, let's say staff Nicole resign. You just need to inactive it by untick the box here and save it. There is no need to delete that employee so that you may still preserve that employee info in the system. Should they require document such as EA form in future? When you hire a new replacement staff, you can just add the new staff in the list of active employee. This is because your 20 employees package is based on the number of active employee, not based on total number of employee in the system. Now, I will talk about pending payroll. There is no need to wait until month end only to start entering the ad hoc transaction. You may key in any time at pending payroll. Here is how it works. Let's say you receive a list of employees who did overtime last week. You may go to pending payroll, overtime, insert the info accordingly, such as employee name, overtime code and as for work unit is where you to input how many days or how many hours that the employee did the overtime you can also break down the calculation based on days hours or even minutes example one hours and 20 minutes to be inserted under work unit as time, then the system will auto convert it to work unit for your overtime calculation. Then, when you process your final payroll, everything will be calculated. Now, I will show you how flexible amendment can be done in SQL payroll system. After you have processed your final payroll and you realize that you need to amend something, there is no need to delete the entire payroll, just directly edit them here. You may edit the amount to add more or to delete. Then save it. Immediately, the system will recalculate for government money submission. If you want system to reprocess an employee, same thing, no need to delete the whole month salary, just right click and purchase. To reprocess that employee payroll, just click on process missing employee Is done. Now I will talk about electronic submission and e payment. In SQL payroll system, able to generate the individual pay amount via direct transfer service. Once you've done the setting of payment method, which is with 20 banks ready, and after you process your final payroll, apply payroll credit bank report. To generate the text file for online submission, 
Go to Electronic Credit Transfer. Input the ID required and provided by bank accordingly. Choose where to save it. And here's the text file ready for online submission on direct transfer through bank. And you also able to generate text file for government online submission. Example for EPF Borang A. Apply accordingly. To generate the text file, go to submission of KWSP Borang A via magnetic media. Choose the format accordingly. Complete the required view. Choose where to save it. And the text file is ready for submit. Same with other government money submission. You are able to do the same thing from our system. Subscribe to our YouTube for the latest video. Follow our Facebook for the latest update. Go to our website for reports and guides. It's so easy.